What's up everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Guys, appreciate everybody that's been tuning in to the Chuisa vlog. If you haven't seen the video, if YouTube brought you to this video first, make sure you go into our channel and check out the latest videos and subscribe guys really helps out the channel algorithm i thought i had something in my my bed but i don't have something in my bed what i do have in my truck is the battery for kilo i feel like i haven't used kilo in like two years give or take so we're gonna be turning kilo on and i'm probably gonna be dailing it because it's just rotting away behind my house and there's a lot of stuff that we're gonna do to that one but I feel like I do need to be driving that truck, man. It has a badass sound system that's been done by Supreme Sounds. And uh, if you guys need any sound system, tint, alarm, anything for your razor, anything, anything, any customization you guys need, make sure you hit up mi compa Pete at Supreme Sounds and he will hook you up. If you use code RGB Trucks, dile que sus compa Leo le dijo. So here it is, guys. This is La Kilo, man. It's. Honest, honest, it's been a long time since I turned it on. De repente ya ni prende. Got this clean there in the back. What's I'm not gonna put? But yeah, man, this one's clean from the inside. Visita. So here it is, guys. First startup of La Kilo and like, pff, man, I don't even know. I'm trying to fuel pump for a little bit. Cause it has been a while. And la primera. A little lifter knot. I was gonna install it, but it's a bigger mess to deal with than what I thought was gonna be. So we're not gonna be installing the escalator at all, guys. Losa, this you know this truck is pretty much clean from the inside. It does have the crack dash like any other MBS, but overall. You know, the interior is pretty clean on this truck. Like I said, it does have a full sound system, an alarm, and it has all the goodies, but we are gonna be doing some upgrades on it as well. I really do wanna get it painted. I really do wanna put the body kit on it and add some wheels, add the big wheels and stuff. We've been doing other things. We got the merch trailer. We have work, and sometimes that keeps us extremely busy. But sooner or later, guys, you're gonna be seeing this truck a como la queremos. Pero si, la primera prendida de la quilosa. I'm gonna close the door because it's goddamn 102 degrees here in the valley and it is fucking hot. Y la quilosa tiene un aire mamaloncísimo. I really do want to start dailying this truck. It does have a 4.6 IAC suspension and this just drives like a Bentley, man. And like I said, this truck does have a sound system. Vamos a darle un, una, un cali al sistema si tú haces bump. Oh hell yeah, still bumps, I have forgotten how clean this uh system does sound i believe it does have the well not new anymore but it used to be new ds18s the neos it just sounds nice and crispy if you're looking for a sound system make sure you hit up me compa pete at supreme sounds and he will get you right we're also going to be checking out the studio we're doing some upgrades inside like completely we're gonna rearrange it uh como va a quedar. so let's go inside and check it out so here it is guys, this is a little update on the studio. We did build this custom cabinet to hold all our stuff. There's gonna be shipping on this part, shirts, decals, and other accessories there in the bottom. We did have a little mini fridge there, and this is gonna be like miscellaneous stuff to get there. We do have a leather futon couch. 
I mean, maybe I said it wrong. It's a uh, couch that we're gonna be building. We're gonna be put. It, we're gonna put it right there in that corner, and it's gonna be a little chill spot. Maybe, maybe like a little podcast type thing. So we are gonna be doing that. It's just a quick update here on the studio. It was a fucking mess because we just kept piling stuff and piling stuff. And this and that, we went through like three trailers because we sold three trailers. So all the stuff that was in the trailer was in here. So it was like a big mess. But now that we have this one, we're able to put everything back together. And now we got to configure what we're going to be doing on this space. We already have mostly some of it mapped out. But then we just got to make sure what we're going to do with the table, that, and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, this is a little quick update on the studio. For all the new people that are subscribing to our channel, I haven't actually seen what you know this studio is and what we came from. You know, it's just uh, it's a compliment for ourselves, and you know, I, I I pat my my own back because we did build this studio, and uh, we used to have a little trailer type house or whatever you want to call it that used to be in this property when we bought the property. And we uh, converted that one into the studio, but we outgrew it quick and we had to do some thinking. So we did build this full studio here and there is a garage on the other side. Figured, you know, we would need the space. We actually do need more space. So we're going to build another garage on the other side just to put our vehicles in there. I want to start dating the kilo and we're going to be finishing. Maybe we might have this complete today, if not tomorrow, but we will bring you, bring you guys an update once it's done. And, uh, you know, it's, it's cleaned out because it's a fucking mess, man. It's a mess. Uh, it, you, it'll be clean, but then it'll get messy quick if, you know, we don't pay attention to what we're doing. But, yeah, guys, this is, uh, this is a very helpful thing. This really, really is going to help us all uh, get everything coordinated and you know make sure our orders are processed quickly and it's just better just to see it we're going to be labeling all the cubbies we're going to put like number one number two number three or four etc you know we're going to work that on our way just that so we have it in our online store we really do appreciate everybody that's been tuning in subscribing buying our merch you know we're just two guys from the rgv I'm not saying trying to make it uh because we have been on the game for a while but you know we're just trying to you know, just do our thing you know, just do our thing I'm, I'm actually waiting for snacks pinche snacks se tarda la vida so we're gonna wait for him to come over here because we need to move the trailer para sacar la, la kilo para enfrente we are gonna be giving a little wash and uh, just get it ready for daily activities so here we are guys we got la kilo over here already we had to put some air on the tires because those tires have been flat since last time we parked it uh, but yeah guys we're gonna get the kilo washed if you're new to the channel and you're wondering what we call it a kilo make sure you head out to the goat heart podcast channel and uh, check out the podcast that we did with the compas just to know why we call it a kilo
Será que sí, Impresa. Kilo is a one fire tire, one legger. Vamos a patinar con una, but we're going to change that soon. Se me había olvidado qué chinga era para lavar una troca. Shout out to my compa Toto, que always washes my vehicles. Pero esta vez it was a little bit late. I wanted to do it for the vlog, so I did it myself. Oh, qué chinga. Good thing is the interior is clean, so I don't have to mess with that. Let me also, guys, go show you the update of the studio. Fierro. Damn it, boy. I know we had a mess this morning, but now it is complete. Yeah, yeah, guys, we have a fresh blueprint. Vamos a estar poniendo las cosas como deberían de haber ido desde el principio. Se me acabó el inglés. Que ando bien bofeado, man. Oh, ando bien bofeado. Shout out a todos los compas que andan de car wash. Que se la rifan. Es una chinga. Un saludo para ustedes, compas. Porque, pues, y eso que suena single cab. Y ando bien bofeado. But again, it is hot outside. Aquí está más malón. We did paint the floor. And uh, we're getting it ready for the cedar tomorrow. It's always dusty in here. Always, always dusty. No matter how many times you swept, how many times you mopped. Like, it was dusty. Like, I don't know. I just, I can't explain it. But, I mean, it was always. We would sweep. We would mop. The following day, there was still dirt. I am going to buy some uh, dust covers for the doors. But I don't think it's the doors. I think it's just the cement. We wouldn't let it cure. Here's what kind of, what I think, you know, I'm not an expert, but what I think is what happened. And that's why we always have dust in here. This is the final touches we were doing to the studio. We're going to be adding the sealer. It's, it's, a, it's a clear coat that goes in the, in top of the paint. That way it could preserve it a little bit better. And we don't have any uh, scratches or scrapes or stuff like that. <sighs> but yeah, guys. Bien asoleado, bien cansado. That's it, guys. That's going to be it for this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, like it. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new to the channel, subscribe, guys, because we got more content coming. Su compa Leo, we signing out.